This story comes from 1999. It's a story about the war in Kosovo in Europe. A man called Bashkin had been walking for two days trying to get out of Kosovo after becoming separated from his family who had fled. At the side of the road he sees a torn photo and upon picking it up discovers that the girl with fair hair and blue eyes pictured there is none other than his daughter. Further along the trail he comes across yet another photo, this time of his uncle, and then further along he finds a fragment of another photo, this time of his wife. Photo by photo, fragment by fragment, he and 150 other men who had also been separated from their families were led up a trail into the mountains to be reunited with their families in Albania. Bashkim's wife, heading to safety in Albania, had, days before in her desperation, torn up photos from the family photograph album she was carrying, hoping her husband would see the photos. She had torn some of the photos into multiple pieces so that even more fragments would create the trail. The news headline in 1999 announced that a trail of torn photos led 150 people to safety. Palm Sunday is the day when Christians remember Jesus' entry into Jerusalem when his path was laid with palm branches. Jesus followed the path before him. We all know the story soon shifts, but before we hear the reading of Jesus' suffering and death, we are to remember his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. In many churches on Palm Sunday, palm branches or palm crosses are passed around, and a procession often takes place around the church. It reminds me that we all make different journeys, and we too must take care of what and who we follow. Holy Week is often described as a journey. It's a good metaphor for a week that includes many stories of journeys, not least the journey to the cross on Good Friday. And we each are invited to make a journey, not as a spectator, even if one rejoicing and laying down palm branches, but we are to journey as avidly as someone searching for their own family members. And may we also remember those this Holy Week who even now are attempting to walk to safety.